those around you. Your crew become a part of you to accomplish the things you never could do alone. Those were the days. The next generation, literally. How, how is it to work now with your daughter who plays your daughter? Yeah. <laughs> I pinch myself, you know, uh, every day because uh, it gets emotional yeah. when I really focus on it. This is, um, this is pretty good. Don't do it. I know. I know. <laughs> this is, I know. This is we the can't, second we, time we, today. We, we, can't, we can't look we, at each can't other. Look at each other. <laughs> um, it's awesome. It really is. Uh, I knew that this would happen when she decided to become an actor, right? Because her mother and I were both in the business. We tried to discourage her. We said there, there will be no child acting. We've seen too many young lives destroyed, too many families pulled apart by it. I think we scared her. <laughs> so hard that I became a pre-law major when I went to college. But then I realized I was miserable and I said, I don't care what you think, I'm transferring to the acting school. What is it like, same question, that I asked you, started out with, with your dad, you working as the daughter of your dad, Jordy, in, in the show and also in real life. Honestly, greater than I ever could have expected. I think I was a little nervous coming into it because he is my dad. I don't know what it's like working with a parent, but the fact that he respects my training and my craft enough to have it be such a professional environment. Mm. It was the highest compliment he could have given mm. me by not feeling the need to say anything because that just means that he respects my choices and mm. respects me as an actor, which I think is the greatest gift I ever could have gotten from him. So it was amazing. <laughs> Same question that I'd like to ask to both of you. How does your real life father-daughter relationship vary from what we see on screen? Um, <laughs> it, you know, Wait, I want to I go to her first, because why, why the laughter? Why the laughter over here? <laughs> because uh, Al Alondra is, is very much a, a yes dad type of girl. She, she follows in his footsteps purposefully. She wants to be an engineer because he's an engineer. She, you know, didn't rebel and become a pilot. She follows behind him and copies his mannerisms. I like to make fun of this man. I am a very typical girl. In real father. life. In yeah. real life, yeah. I'm a very <laughs> typical daughter in real life. Alondra, I think, is the more respectful daughter. <laughs> what was it like for you returning to the role of Jordy? Love, love. It was a love fest, you know? The, the members of the cast are family. We have spent so much time in each other's lives and supporting one another through so many changes and challenges and passages. And when we are together, there is just, there's a magic. There's a shorthand. There is that thing called chemistry. That's the space where we all meet. Lately, we hear so much about DNI, right, and diversity, inclusion, and it really does feel like Star Trek was ahead of its time Way. when it comes to that. A and do you feel like now, with this next generation, it mm -hmm. it just continues because there were shows where it was like, oh, well, we have our one yeah. minority, right. and now it's like, no, we're not just satisfied with with one. No, Star Trek has always been ahead of the curve, right? Seeing Nichelle Nichols on, on the bridge of the original Enterprise said to me as a science fiction fan and a black kid, when the future comes, there's a place for you. Mm -hmm. There is a real hopeful aspect to Gene Roddenberry's vision. He, he, he posits that by the time we get to the 24th century, we will have solved a lot of the problems that we are really, really struggling with right now on Earth. And, and so we need that hope you, 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 to, to sort of pull us in that direction. Magnet, that's what hope is about, magnetizing ourselves to the possibility, mm. right? And, and Star Trek has, has been that in the culture for decades. One thing we all have in common as human beings is we want to be seen. Mm -hmm. And we want to see ourselves reflected in the world around us because it says not only are you here, but you're, you matter. Mm -hmm. You're important enough to, to be chronicled in the culture. There is nothing more powerful than that camera mm -hmm. and the stories that we tell with that camera. If you take a look at the bridge of the Titan mm -hmm. in Picard season three, yes, yes. it's incredibly diverse. I mean, the fact that there's three black women mm -hmm. uh, and there are two Asian representations just on the bridge right there, non-binary, mm -hmm. a variety of gender. It's, it's 
phenomenal to look at the actual representation of what our world is mm. in this tiny metallic room. It's also such a celebration of found family. Everyone talks about their crew as their family. I want to go off topic for a moment, if mm. you'll humor me here. So, first of all, you're Benjamin Buttons in real life. Uh, you, you have not <laughs> aged. I grew up watching you, and uh, I'm grown uh, mm. clearly now, but uh, as a little girl and reading Rainbow, mm -hmm. uh, know that, that, that reading during those early formative years is critical and and obviously something that's that's near and dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, curious if we can just kind of get into the news of it all. We've had more than 2,500 books that were banned last year, uh, more potentially this year. Your, your thoughts on that? You really want to get me started? Yeah, let's do it. It is, it is, to me, it is a powerful example of I am willing to cut off my nose to spite your face, mm -hmm. okay? Because what's happening is these, these parents are communicating to their children, A, I don't trust you enough to be discerning in your life. I don't trust you enough to give you information that I don't agree with, and so I want to keep it not only from other kids, I want to keep it from you, because I don't trust you enough to know what to do with the information. I think the, the, the impetus is that there is this fear that there is too much emphasis on the diverse nature of this country and the need necessity to be more empathetic, understanding, and aware of experiences that you might not necessarily have yourself, okay? And the signal that that sends to, to a child is that, well, I tell you what, God don't like ugly, ugly. and what these adults may find is that when their children are old enough to understand the shenanigans that they were up to now, they're going to feel some kind of way about it. And, and karma, as we all know, is sometimes not as pleasant as we'd like for it to be. You, I, I cannot follow up that beautifully oh. quiet but righteous anger. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but she, uh, she has beautifully righteous anger too. It's oh, not God. always quiet, uh, but, but it <laughs> it's is... It's rarely quiet. It is, it is beautiful and it is righteous. I and, mean... And her advocacy, uh, you know, for, for, for representation in areas that, that reflect her and, and her life. Um, it, it's one of the things that she's known for in, in the community in, in which she has made a name for herself. That is true. And, and again, how awesome is that? Hey, I mean, I'm proud of him for stepping up in advocacy and maybe groups that I'm a part of that he wasn't a first aware of yeah. and, and is very loud about now. So I, I feel very proud that me stepping up for my communities has encouraged him to step up for them as well, which is exactly what we need. You can't just be the one voice advocating for yourself. You need allies. So it's been really heartwarming to see his growth in what he's fighting for. I thank you guys both so much. And, and personally, I just want to thank you. I mean, as a little girl, I remember watching you. I, I can't remember, you know, who the first person of color was who I looked to on, on TV, but but your face certainly comes to mind as, as one of those pioneers. So, so I thank you for that. My pleasure. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.